Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. How you guys are doing? I hope uh, your paintings are doing much better now. And, uh, and I'm very privileged to have your uh, queries and uh, various uh, uh, responses uh, on, on your painting. So thank you so much for going through my videos and uh, learning from them. I really look forward to share more and more watercolor learning content with you guys. So friends, I recently I visited one place called uh, uh, Wynard, which is in the uh, uh, state of Kerala in, uh, in India. So I really had a good fun there. It's a beautiful place and a uh, lot many people uh, visit there because of it's a beautiful uh, wildlife and, uh, and, and the nature. So you know, when I was visiting this place, uh, I found some of the very uh, interesting, uh, the market and uh, the overall, uh, the city of, uh, the city life uh, of that place. Uh, especially the uh, the very old uh, uh, traditional architecture of their uh, their of their house, which is very significant, which really attract me. So I just thought that uh, I should be making a video of it. I hope uh, you will enjoy this video. Please do let me know if you have any comments and suggestions. I would be really happy to answer any of your queries. So let's go ahead and uh, make this painting. So as I said earlier, so you need to be very much uh, precise uh, uh, about your composition, uh, the perspective and the overall composition of this, uh, the whole entire environment. So what I'm going to do here is I'll be uh, making this this part as my focal point okay this part will be my focal point and my perspective will be like this okay so that's the the top level my my overall composition going to look like So looks like uh, we have done with our sketch. I just tried to capture the uh, the overall environment there. So this would be uh, my focal point and uh, this will go a little uh, less prominent uh, area. This this space and the stew space gives another the breathing space for your painting. So that's a really important to uh, uh, to have a clear understanding how you're going to compose your the entire painting all right so we will be doing the first layer of this painting uh, i'm going to use this uh, ultramarine blue sepia sap green orange yellow ochre burnt sienna crimson red and the vermilion red i'll be also using uh, somewhere uh, the black and uh, horizon blue um, so these all the primary I'll be using all of these color in this painting 
So I hope you will enjoy this painting and uh, let's go, go ahead and uh, start doing our first layer. So first I'll be making sky. So I'm using this uh, ultramarine blue and sapphire. A little tint of ochre, yellow ochre. little depth on it bunch yana i'll be using for for the rooftop this is terracotta rooftop and a little orange And <clears throat> the roof is still uh, the second level of the roof uh, which is still continue here so I'll be using the same Bunciana and uh, orange This is the main gate, the arch. Typically, you'll find uh, in India in any village when you're entering on that specific village or a temple or any any specific place. Most of the time, you will find this kind of gate. Especially in the South India, you'll see a lot. There is another house there just behind us. So roof for that and some trees. So you need to keep uh, uh, Sprinkle probably you can use that sprinkle bottle this one or or you just be a little fast so your edge should not get dry the moment it get dry and if you want to continue that then uh, you'll have a little tough time to manage that so 
you have to be a slightly fast on it so you'll not lose of those points Using this white color here for the signboard. I love making signboard. <laughs> In fact, I enjoy. I I really enjoy making these signboards and all. Okay, and just below this there are there are another row of which is plastic cover here. So it's gonna go along here. Alright and uh, a little bit of depth here other I'll just keep this white space for some human being there are some people standing by and just having a chat talking Coming back to the same roof here for another house. So can you see it's merged there? So this is very important when you when you paint. It has to be uh, this has to be a, a little uh, you know a weight so your painting get uh, merged very easily. These are the uh, signboards here. So when you do first layer, most of the time, I mean, uh, it doesn't reflect any anything to your viewer as you. You may be a, a little bit of uh, uh, in a in a mindset that I don't know where this painting is going. So you might be observing here I'm just giving very light color here because uh, so, uh, I just wanted to uh, reflect that these objects are slightly far and uh, 
that requires a little less work you really don't need to spend much time uh, just giving us some bold patches will we'll do here Okay. Some more depth. Just a little. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll just take this cover. There is a jab across. So this one. The pencil things like you don't need to make it uh, very obvious just impression of the whole thing Let it dry for some time and then we'll do our second layer. Alright friend, so our first layer completely dried now. No, uh, there is no any anywhere it is wet. So you can see here uh, my paper got a little bulging. But that's okay. I mean when you continue doing watercolor, your the bulging will get subtle after time. Uh, the moment it is get uh, your painting get dry uh, this whole thing will get uh, a very flat surface so it's not uh, worried much about it in case if you are having a too much uh, bulging then probably you can just wait for some some more time or probably you can just keep some some heavy stuff here and uh, things will be all right um, but uh, my practice is to go ahead uh, straight away uh, whatever it is because this bulging itself will get sift after a certain time so you should not worry about it. so so yes uh, i'll go with uh, the second layer so first i'll be working on the roof part 
so I'll just take this Bunciana and little ultramarine blue So actually our light falls from from this side so the most of the part in the other side will be a slightly darker and uh, that's the the source of uh, light so this is very important to understand your where actually the lights falls from and uh, accordingly you have to give your shadows and and uh, <coughs> the lights This is going to be our signboard, and uh, the shadow is still falling here. So here again, this uh, the shadow of this uh, board, which actually falls there and down. Just a little darker here because you want to give the more depth here
and a four. So there is another house here. So we'll be <coughs> so we'll be, so we'll be working on in another house here. And there are several signboards along with this building. And these are the rooftops. There are several signboards of uh, some stores and stuff like that so just a little impression of it not necessarily not necessarily you have to give in a complete detail of it In the far, there is a another building. So when you are working on the far object, uh, make sure that you should have very less water in your brush, otherwise uh, you will have a little darker objects and uh, it won't look good.
So as we can see, we cannot uh, decide which way the, uh, the, the light is actually falling. So you can always uh, take a decision that, uh, you know, where the, the, the darker sides has to be there. So in this case, I want to make this, this part, I want to make this a little darker. So this space is much much darker because uh, the light falls from that side, that's angle. Yeah. So now it gives you the more depth and now you can see that the lights actually falling from from this side. So you always need to be very much conscious uh, about this decision. Now we'll be working on these people here. So various, so I'm just giving some <clears throat> So I'm just working on a random um, the cloths of those people So this is the various people, they're just coming out and walking on the street or something.
Now since the lights fall from this side, so you will be obviously giving the, the shadows on this angle, this way. Okay. Now similarly here also the people are just walking here and their shadows falling that side. Alright, so now let's work on the scar. and the shadow Just a little touch. 
the electric poles. So the saddle is falling from from other side of uh, the houses. So, so we need to cut the those side over here. Some saddle which is uh, even more further, so we can we can bring all of that. For the last thing we have to make is the wire. All right, friends. So I think uh, I think we are done with this. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this video and uh, I look forward to have a more painting similar like this. <clears throat> so thank you so much for uh, watching this video and uh, I look forward to have an, another video very soon. Thank you so much and have a great learning experience. Thank you. Mm -hmm.